Now, this is something that I'm going to have a little bit of a, a nuanced take on, right? Now, uh, I don't know if Elon is being honest here or not, but, you know, we'll save it for the end like we always do. Elon Musk rules out conspiracy theorist Alex Jones' he's returned to Twitter. Twitter boss says he has no mercy for those who capitalise on deaths of children, citing loss of son in 2002. Elon Musk says he will not reinstate the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones on Twitter, <laughs> pardon, saying he has no mercy for people who capitalise on the deaths of children for personal fame. Twitter permanently suspended the accounts of Jones and his Infowars website in September of 2018 for violating the platform's abusive behaviour policy. Jones, 48, gained, no, by the way, he didn't actually do anything like b b abusive behaviour policy. It was uh, because he was talking about someone, Twitter pulled the same shit that uh, they did with Milo Yiannopoulos, where basically... Uh, they never targeted anyone or told their fans to go and attack anyone, but they were talking shit about someone, and then Twitter went, oh, that could incite people from the website to go and abuse them, and blah, blah, and that's what they used as a hangy for the ban. Well, if that's the case, then pretty much every media outlet and every fucking big major leftist account should be banned then, because that's what they do all the time. They get people brigaded, right? So... Yeah, but like, like we all know, it's okay when they, when they do it because we are the awful bad guys. We're not allowed to do it, but it's fine when they do it because we are evil and we should, you know, die. Uh, Jones, 48, gained notoriety for pushing a false conspiracy theory about Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012. <laughs> He he had gained notoriety long before that, <laughs> uh, which led to harassment of parents who lost their children in the massacre. Jones has been ordered by a U.S. court to pay more than one point four billion dollars or one point two billion pounds. Remember when the, when pounds were worth more than dollars? <laughs> I wonder what happened uh, to people who suffered from his false claim that the shooting in which twenty children and six educators died was a hoax. Musk appeared to rule out a return for Jones in an interaction with Twitter users on Monday. The author and podcaster Sam Harris, uh, Sam Harris has become such a gimp, man, such a gimp recently, uh, asked Twitter's new owner if it was time uh, to let Alex Jones back on Twitter, and if not, why not? Kim.com, the internet entrepreneur, also asked if Jones could be reinstated in the interest of real free speech, because, yep, that was uh, apparently the whole reason that Elon Musk bought the platform. Musk replied that he had lost a child to sudden infant death syndrome in 2002 and said Jones used the death of children to push his own agenda. He tweeted, my, first un my firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics or fame. And yeah, okay, when you frame it like that, yep, it's awful, it's terrible. But unfortunately, it's free speech. It is. Look, I'm sorry. Like, like, I think it was Ron Paul that says we don't have the First Amendment, so we can talk about the weather, right? You know, free speech laws, free speech uh, protections exist so that you can talk about controversial things. And yeah, sometimes people want to say some really fucked up stuff. Sometimes people want to say some really horrible and fucked up stuff. But that doesn't mean we should legislate against it or prevent them from saying it either through force or through denial of services. Blah blah blah. However, you know there is a. Thing where uh, no one has a right to your labour or anything like that, but see, to be honest, when you've set the website up, it's not really, it's not really your labour if it's just sort of there and they're using it. You know what I mean? Complicated. That's a, that's a chat for another time. Uh, Musk has started reinstating previously banned accounts on the platform and lifted the permanent suspension on the account of the former U.S. President Donald Trump on Sunday after conducting a Twitter poll. The Canadian psychologist Jordan Peterson has also been reinstated, along with the British U.S. former kickboxer Andrew Tate, who had previously been banned for citing extreme misogynistic views, and Project Veritas, a right-wing U.S. organization that specializes in stings against liberal groups and the established media not just them by the way like i mean a lot of people do perceive like project veritas as being right wing but they they did like infowars as well they did a sting on infowars and all that not a lot of people know that they did infowars too uh, on sunday the u.s rapper ye or ye or fucking hear ye hear ye i don't know uh, formerly kanye west tweeted the hebrew greeting shalom having been <laughs> access to his account six weeks after it was locked after the after he announced that he was going death con three <laughs> on <clears throat> on jewish people and on monday it appeared that the personal account of marjorie taylor green the u.s congresswoman and right-wing extremist 
uh, had also been reinstated. Green, a frequent promoter of conspiracy theories, was suspended in January for violating Twitter pol- Twitter's policies on COVID misinformation. Isn't it weird how COVID misinformation ends up becoming like the actual information? There's a strange trend. It's so odd. It's almost like we were being lied to for years. Uh, Green celebrated the move on our congressional account by attacking unelected big tech and tweeting, my account is back, go follow MT Greeny for MTG Unfiltered. Before the wave of reinstatement, oh by the way, Sargon's back. Sargon's back as well. There's a bunch of people coming back. It's fucking, it's quite strange. Uh, Before the wave of reinstatements in recent days, Musk said there would be no change to the status of banned accounts until a newly announced content moderation council had met. He later added that no bans would be lifted until there was a clear process for doing so. But, I mean, a lot of these people were all banned for absolutely bullshit reasons. Like, one of the things as well, by the way, see Sargon, everyone says, oh, he was... But a lot of people still think he was banned for the stuff he said to Jess Phillips, or he was banned for tweeting gay porn at the alt-right. That's actually not why Sargon was banned. He was arguing with someone about the Holocaust. You know, <laughs> a brave, a brave thing to do on Twitter. But uh, Sargon was arguing from the point that the Holocaust happened, and Sargon basically was doing a for the sake of argument where he said something like, well, let's say that it was only 250,000 people. Let's say uh, it was there was wooden doors, and let's say that it was all exaggerated, blah, blah, blah. How then do you propose blah, blah, blah? So he, was, he said that, but in like the sake of argument. Like, for the sake of argument is why he said that. But Twitter saw it and took it as him actually saying those things and banned them. Which is a completely bullshit reason, because it's clear that's not what he was doing. But, so that's why, that's why Sargon was actually banned for, you know, the truth. (laughs) I'm joking, I'm joking. I am telling jokes, right? I need to calm down with that stuff, by the way, man, because people are actually going to start thinking I'm being serious. Uh, However, uh, Musk announced at the weekend that he would reinstate Trump after hosting a poll on his own account in which a slim majority of users called for the ban to be lifted. And it was one of these really weird things, by the way, where, like, uh, the poll for the longest time, like, for bringing Trump back was fucking massive, but then all of a sudden the people against it, you know, the longer and longer it went on, the people against it just increased, you know, like Democrat elections, it was really weird, (laughs) it's just strange that. Uh, As of Monday morning, Trump's live account had more than 87 million followers, close to its pre-ban peak, but he had not tweeted on it, having says at the weekend that he didn't see any reason for returning to the platform. The fact that Trump has just uh, announced his presidency, he'd be stupid if he didn't. He'd be really stupid if he didn't come back to Twitter. I'm sorry, this is this is the playground that everyone's in. Like, if you're running for the presidency, it'd be really stupid for him not to come back to Twitter. I mean, at the end of every t- tweet, he can always shout out Truth Social. He can always shout out Truth Social. But I think he might resist it for a little while, but I've got a feeling that... I've got a feeling he'll come back. Uh, Leading advertisers have paused spending on Twitter owing to concerns about moderation standards on the platform after Musk's $44 billion takeover last month. Their concerns have been compounded by a wave of fake verified accounts after Musk offered a blue tick to users, which verifies who they are, for $7.99 a month as part of a relaunch of Twitter's premium service, which has since been halted because people were changing their name and trolling on it. How terrible. Can you believe some people would be so immature? Uh, The pharmaceutical firm Eli Lilly was among the businesses hit by hoax accounts after the changes to Twitter Blue service because someone pretending to be them uh, announced that uh, insulin was now going to be free and it tanked their fucking stock because people thought that the troll account was a real one. Now, yes, I'm a libertarian. Yes, I'm a staunch capitalist. That's funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's wiping, wiping billions of wiping billions in value off of a stock over a meme tweet. Ah, oh, I must possess this power. I must. I just honestly like. I'm sorry. Right. That's fucking funny. Now to discuss what I think the real thing is. Now, yes, what happened to Musk was absolutely terrible. What happened to Musk's uh, firstborn? Absolutely shocking. Every father's worst fucking nightmare. Like, it's something that I worry about. I worry about that a lot. But very, very fortunately, me and Sue are not vaccinated. So, <laughs> less, less of a worry in that regard. Still still a concern, though. Uh, they also think they might have actually figured out what actually causes uh, SIDS. 
uh, cot death, as it's called. It turns out if there's an enzyme present in the baby when it's born, it actually blocks the receptors in the brain that makes the brain basically jump starts you when it detects that you stop breathing. It sends a jolt through your body to make you go and like continue breathing in your sleep but this enzyme actually blocks those receptors so if they find that there's a higher level of the enzyme in the baby then what they can do is put on an apnea machine or obviously heart rate monitors breathing monitors and all that stuff to prevent it from happening so there you go that's something uh, that's something that i read don't know if that's true i hope it's true if we can finally get to the bottom of it but what am i like going on fucking tangents all the time now must came out with that fucking uh reason about uh, not wanting to bring alex jones back now i feel that that might have been for the crowd I feel that that might have been for the crowd where he's went. Basically, it's very popular to hate Alex Jones right now. And it's like, yeah, fuck him. He's not fucking coming back. Which, unfortunately, does directly go against Elon Musk's supposed uh, new free speech stance. But he's brought back people that are far more controversial, you know. Like Donald Trump, who apparently tried to overthrow the fucking country on January the 6th. Look, January the 6th wasn't a revolution. I fucking wish it was. But... I think the reason he's done it, he's just provided that as a public excuse. I think the reason that he's done it is because of the liability issues. Because Alex Jones coming back to Twitter is a trolley problem. Well, me personally, yes, 100%, absolutely, Alex Jones should be back on Twitter. Yes, I love Alex. He's a friend of mine. I've been on his show a bunch of times. I have been in the InfoWars compound. I've been there. I've hung out with him. He's a great guy. I really like him. He fucked up with Sandy Hook. I will say that. He did fuck up massively with Sandy Hook, but I believe he's more than paid his penance for it to the tune of a trillion dollars. And that is why I feel that he's not going to be allowed back on Twitter because then he becomes a massive liability. Because, I mean, if you want some money, sue Alex Jones right now. You'll fucking win. Just go in and just say an amount off the top of your head, 300 million, million, quadrillion fucking dollars, and the judge will slam the hammer down and fucking give you it. I mean, the man's just been sued to the tune of a trillion dollars. And if he's on Twitter, Twitter and Elon Musk then risk being named in such lawsuits. Because people try, oh, holy shit, the richest man in the world. Fuck yeah, I'm going to sue the richest man in the world for 300 million cabajillion fucking money. Like, fucking, that, that, that'll happen. Right, so it's a liability issue. And if I was a businessman who had just bought Twitter, even though I'm, you know, everyone, you may know that I, I'm quite fond of a freedom of speech i still wouldn't let alex on and the reason for that would be to protect the rest of you because you all have audiences and things that you've spent years building up you're getting your voice and opinions out there and stuff like that then if i bring alex jones and then he gets about 100 new lawsuits thrown at him for absolutely ridiculous amounts of money which they're going to fucking win and then twitter gets named in it then that means twitter gets shut the fuck down Twitter's just shut down. It's gone. That's it. Bye bye. And now none of you have a voice. So it's the trolley problem. Do you let one man die? <laughs> or do you let the do you change the track and let everybody else get fucking run over? And that's the problem is, and that's not Musk's fault. It's because it's it's because of like laws controlling speech. In this case, it's civil laws. Where you can be fucking sued for absolute mongo money if you say something that causes someone a certain amount of like distress or financial harm and blah 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 and everything. So that's just unfortunately the way it is, right? So for me, uh, you know, pragmatically, it'd be a liability issue. In a perfect world, without those stupid civil laws, Alex Jones would be on my Twitter. He'd be on my fucking Twitter, absolutely. In fact, I'd make him a mandatory follow for everyone that signed up. But unfortunately, with the way the laws are. It puts everyone else at risk. That's the problem. You know, you're all, you're all hiding out in a little fucking, you know, a cold snaps came. You're all going to freeze to death overnight. There's eight of you in the room and there's a leper outside or someone with tuberculosis wants to come in. It'd be the right thing to do to let him in. Unfortunately, it puts everyone else at risk. Let him freeze. No, I'm kidding on. It's sad. It's shit. It's, it's terrible because... I love Alex. I love Alex and he has as much right to freedom of speech as everybody else. But I think that the reason that Musk gave might have just been a, to pander to the crowd and his real reason is business. However, I don't know. I'm not inside Musk's head. I'm just absolutely speculating. But 
Hopefully Musk isn't going back on his free speech thing. I mean, if it's a business one, then I understand it because it protects everybody else's speech because Twitter is going to be attacked by every fucking institution now and they're all going to be trying to bring it down. And having Alex Jones there and getting Twitter and Musk named in some lawsuits, fucking perfect opportunity. But, again, we're just going to have to wait and see.